Okay, this is my third application of the season. I'm going with this RGS from Next. I got this from Amazon, $44.99 for the gallon. Super economical. This stuff goes really far. I have about 13,000 square feet of lawn between the side of the house, front, back, everything. Um, and I'm gonna apply at this rate about three to four ounces per gallon. I think I did four ounces. I'm gonna try to do three ounces just to kind of extend it out a little bit further uh, for the back. So the nice thing about this stuff is I don't like to use much fertilizer in the summertime um, just because I don't think it's all that necessary. So I'd like to focus on the micro stimulants and the, you know, the micronutrients, I should say, in the biostimulant packages. So I've used Next products before. I used the liquid aerate, and then I used the micronutrients last year with uh, great results. So I wanted to try the Next product here. It's got sea kelp in it, which is going to help with the rooting. Humix is going to help with green up and, you know, help with extended nitrogen release. Uh, you know, it helps with heat stress and drought during the summer months. It's just an overall, uh, you know, soil condition, I should say, for health and, you know, root stimulation. So it just helps the, the lawn health through, you know, feeding microbial life uh, into the soil and just helps, you know, optimize fertilizer nutrient uptake, right? Um, so there's so many benefits to these products and I've seen tons and tons of good reviews on it. I've done a lot of research on these and I had good luck with the uh, other products. So right now I'm using my backpack sprayer. I got my PPE here and then I got my mixing cup, um, approximately three to four ounces per gallon. I got the sprayer on and I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, how it's working so far. But this, like I said, this stuff goes really far. It covers, one gallon covers almost 43,000 square feet. So just a little bit under that. But uh, they say you can apply this every 30 to 45 days and then you gotta be careful too because it can stain the cement. So if you do get any on, you might want to rinse that off. But um, all in all, I'm gonna be using this through probably for the next three months, right? May, June, July, that's my that's my game plan. I'm not gonna really be using any more fertilizers right now. So kind of wanted to show you, you know, a little bit about what I'm working with here. And I have only a little bit more to go. So I'll show you the lawn as it's looking. And then pardon me if it's a little bouncy or shaky, but so far so good. I already sprayed this and this is how it's looking. It's looking really good. I'm really impressed with it. The lawn's come a long way over the last year or two, and it's just a continued, continued process. So as we'll go over here, I'll show you the other side of the house and how that's looking so far. I've only done the pre-emergent with the fertilizer, and then I did a half dose of the fertilizer to start the season. And really impressed with how it's turning out so far. Kind of hard to tell just by the way the sun's coming down but all in all i'm really really impressed with it so i kind of wanted to go over here and show you i'm gonna apply this might get a little noisy well the sprayer's not too too noisy so i had this little section to do i sprayed these with glyphosate all these weeds here too so but I'm gonna spray this last section. The hardest part is not knowing how fast to go and speed and different tips that you have. I have a fan sprayer on this one. I hate the plastic stuff, it just breaks. So you gotta be very careful with it. Take care of it, maintain it, rinse it out. Actually, when I got this backpack sprayer, this thing broke, so I complained and they sent me a new one. You gotta be very careful with this stuff. It's cheap unless you get a really high quality sprayer, but those get kind of pricey. So gotta spend money and save money where you can, right? All right. So I'm gonna spray it now. Hope it's not too loud, it's on full speed. I like to go in a sweeping pattern and just kind of go in two sections. I don't really know how loud you guys can hear that battery, but, or that pump. I have a little bit extra, so I kind of went a little faster, just worried I was going to run out. So that's the hard part. You never know how far to go, right? So if you have extra, you can just go in the opposite direction until you run out. And I got the lever locked in the locked position. So 
so it's just easier for less fatigue, I should say. Like I said, the hardest part is just figuring out how fast to go. Because you don't want to use too much product too fast, but... All right, let me turn this off here. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna finish this up here, guys, but just kind of want to show you what I'm using and um, you know how it's looking so far. So stay tuned for more products and uh, I'm gonna have more, more videos coming out soon. So please be sure to like and subscribe and answer any questions, ask me any questions that you have below. Uh, what products are you guys using? Are you guys doing any liquids this year? And uh, I'd love to know what you guys are incorporating and you know, where you guys are from. So stay tuned and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.